Welcome to the Dixie Belle YouTube channel. My name is Amy and I'm from the channel Flip It Furniture. And today we're gonna be making over this dresser that I bought from the thrift store. I love finding the dressers with all the intricate details on the drawer fronts. Today I'm gonna show you how I really make all those details pop. For a list of all the products I use in this video and where to buy them, be sure to check out the description box below. Now let's flip it. To prep this piece, I'm removing all of the hardware and then I'm gonna take all the drawers out. Taking all the drawers out, I get a chance to really look at the piece and see if there's any dust or any dust bunnies in those cubbies. And of course there is. So I take my vacuum, vacuum them out, and then I use Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner to thoroughly clean my piece. I finish with the White Lightning Cleaner. I just take a damp cloth with some water, and go over the piece to make sure that I didn't leave any cleaner residue. While I was cleaning, I noticed that some of the finish is chipping a little bit, so I take a little sanding sponge and I just sand over it to smooth it out. Using Dixie Belle's Mud in White to fill in the little scratches and chips. Since they're not deep scratches or chips, I'm just gonna use a nice thin layer. And once that dries, I take a soft sanding sponge and just smooth it out. Now for a primer, I'm using Dixie Belle Slick Stick. Dixie Belle Slick Stick is a bonding primer, and I wanna make sure that our chalk paint is going to stick. The top of this is really, really shiny. And the drawer fronts are plastic panels, so I definitely need something to ensure that my chalk paint is gonna stick properly. I add two coats of slick stick, I wait for it to dry about two hours, then I come back with another coat, and then I leave it overnight. I don't add my paint until the next day. You can see I started out painting with my Dixie Belle mini brush, and then I remembered I haven't used the slick stick in a little while, but I love using the Scarlet brush with slick stick. The Scarlet brush has really firm bristles that are kind of tightly packed together, and you end up with a nice smooth finish. Because we have all these details and lines on the drawer fronts, I'm just gonna use a smaller brush, just a regular brush. Here we are and it's the next day. I decided I'm gonna lay my chalk paint down and I went with a blue color. But after I painted the entire piece in blue, I had a change of heart. And I decided I wanted this to be a neutral instead. The beauty of Dixie Belle's chalk mineral paint is if you have a change of heart, it's not a big deal. You can just paint right over it. I decided to go with the color Sandbar. Using my water mister along with my brush to add a thin layer of paint. I add a total of two coats, waiting for it to dry in between coats. Using the water mister and the thin coats really helps to reduce brush strokes and give it a nice smooth finish. You could also use a little extra fine sanding sponge to smooth out your paint in between coats. and I just take it back down to my drawers. Painting over the details and on all those corners, I'm using a stippling motion. That way I'm guaranteed to get in all those creases. I have two full coats of sandbar on my piece and it's nice and dry. So now I'm going to take Dixie Belle's clear coat and add a coat of sealer on the entire piece, including the top. 
Sometimes I take some duct tape and I just use it to remove any lint or dog hairs or anything that might be on my sponge. Because if it's on your sponge, then it'll mix with your clear coat and then it'll be on your piece. And we don't want to seal anything like that on our piece. So this is just a little helpful tip. Now I'm carefully adding my sealer to the top with my sponge and I'm working in rows, one row at a time, making sure to smooth out the transition line in between. I'm adding a sealer at this point because we're going to be adding wax. If you seal your piece before using Dixie Belle's Besting Wax, it's much, much easier to remove the wax in the unwanted places. And because Dixie Belle's Besting Wax is water-based, you can add a sealer over it after it's dried. You just wait like one to three days and then you can also seal it. While I wait for the clear coat to dry, I'm going to use a little artist brush and use bronze gilding wax to cover the entire hardware. All I had to do to clean up my hardware was soak it in some Dawn soap and give it a nice wash. I didn't polish it because I know that I'm using gilding wax to cover it anyway. Now I'm using the Besting Wax in Black and my French Tip Brush. I love the French Tip Brush when I apply my waxes because it gets into all those creases. It has that nice pointy tip. I'm using a really light hand to apply my wax and that's because I don't want it to be super dark. I want the wax to go on lighter, like a light color. If you wanted it to be darker and you wanted it to be more prominent, you would use more and you would really dig in there you know you would just lay it on thick but we're going really thin so that we have it just really light because the neutral color that I picked for the base is so light I think a nice light brown almost to where you're not sure if that's what you're seeing or not but you know you're seeing something that's what's going to be on there that's the effect we're going for I'm using my water mister to dampen my rag and I'm just gonna wipe off any wax where I don't want it. I really want it in the creases, so, and I sort of want it to be shadowy. So anywhere else, it's gotta go. And because we laid on that sealer first, it's gonna come up nice and easy. I decided I wanted to add a little bit of wax to the outer corners, the outer edges of the drawer fronts. And instead of going back and forth with my brush, I'm going in an upward motion. That way I get a softer, subtle look. Instead of putting it all in the creases really dark, I'm just sort of tapping in an upward motion. And I'm wiping back any wax I got on the raised details.
Now I'm taking the gilding wax that I used on the hardware and I'm gonna bring it into the drawer fronts. It's just these little details on each side, those um, swirly whirlies. They're really pretty and I could add the gilding wax on all the other raised details, but I just think that would be a little too much for this piece. I just want it to give a little bit of a metallic shine. Look at the huge difference a little bit of wax can do to your piece. It really brought all those details out. Now for the finishing touches, we're adding a little bit of furniture wax and a little bit of the gilding wax to the rest of the dresser. This will tie in the entire look. We want it to all be very cohesive. And here's a reminder of what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like today. I love using the waxes. The waxes take your piece from ordinary to extraordinary. The bronze gilding wax is one of my favorites because it's very neutral, but it has that metallic in it, so it just gives that neutral shine, and that's where you get that little pop of glam. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.